Oh, nice. Good score. Of course, that was good. Not great, but good. <laughs> I mean, I'm the resident expert, but I'm happy to encourage newbies. Oh, is that so? Well, then, I'm sorry. I had no idea you were so experienced. Oh, definitely. Let me amend my earlier statement. I meant to say, sorry about your score. I assume you're just not feeling well tonight or something? <laughs> I'm kidding. Seriously, you did awesome. I'm just teasing. You're fun to tease. Hey, it's cool. I'm sorry. I was just playing. You know how I am sometimes. Hmm? Uh, I don't think it's my turn. Wasn't someone else going to go next? But why, though? Why should I? Oh, I see. I see how it is. You think this is a rivalry or something. Look, I said I was teasing. You did great, and I'm sorry I said anything. Can we just let it go? Let other people play, or go play something else ourselves? My score was already higher than yours. I don't need to prove anything to you. Wow, really? Have you had a little too much to drink or something? This is a party. We're just hanging out. You don't need to make it so personal. <sighs> you know, this isn't the first time you've done this. I mean, most of the time I like hanging out with you. But this sort of crap, I just don't get. I'm serious. You seem to get bent out of shape a little more every time I beat you at something. Which, don't get me wrong, I get being competitive. I'm super competitive, you know that. But you... I don't know, it's like you take it worse when it's me. I mean it. There was that time you stomped off after I beat you in chess when we were in high school. Oh, yes it did. You don't get to rewrite history now. And there was that other time, that one summer, when we were hanging out at that arcade, that's not there anymore, and you got so angry when you couldn't beat my high score on Ms. Pac-Man. You tried all summer. I'm just saying, this is a pattern. And it's kind of silly. You beat me at so many things we play. And yeah, I get annoyed in the moment, but I don't take it so... personally, I guess. Of course you do. You kick my ass at pool every time we play. I never have a hope of beating you. And you're a way better league player than I am. My stats are never on your level, even though I've been playing longer. You know, you accidentally steal one penta. Just one. <laughs> Come on, just accept that I'm better than you at a few things we play. Embrace my superiority. I think you'll be a lot happier that way. But... <sighs> Fine. One more time. Same song, expert level, one time each. Let's see who scores better. Got it? Good. Should we have stakes? I feel like a bet would make this even more interesting. I mean, at this moment, I don't really care if I win. I'm already happy with how I play. But if you give me a reason to really kick ass at this, so much the better. Okay, in that case, if I win, you don't get to be crabby at me when I beat you at stuff anymore. You have to suck it up, smile, and tell me congratulations. Until the end of time. Deal? Okay, and what if you win? What do you want? Wait, do I just have to buy the pizza for you? Or do you want me to eat it with you? Huh. You know, if you wanted to ask me out, you could have just asked me out. You didn't have to challenge me to another game and make a big thing of it. I'm teasing. Jeez. Why are you turning red? Seriously, though. Is that what you wanted? Nice deflection, but nope. Talk to me. Nuh-uh, I'm not letting this go. You're gonna come clean with me right now. You do. Like, really. 
Yes, I heard the kinda. I was paying attention. Whatever the hell it means to kinda like someone. How long has this been going on? Why did you wait so long to say something? You... Hang on. Were you serious before? You'd only ask me out if you beat me at this stupid game? What the hell? Where's the logic in that? But you're shooting yourself in the foot. Why set the bar so high? Is it a confidence thing? Or do you just feel the need to smack me down hard before you'll be comfortable asking me out? You got some driving need to put me in my place or some BS like that? I know feelings don't always make sense, I get that, but still, what if we hadn't talked about this and then I beat you again? Would you have just gone off to pout and not said anything about how you feel? Again? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. I'm... I don't know what to think right now. Part of me is flattered. I mean, you're cute as hell, and I've been kinda into you for a while. Hang on, that's only part. Don't start smiling yet. The other part of me is really annoyed at you. Because, you goober. If you liked me, you should have said. This game thing is so childish. And so is the way you react when I beat you. Do you have any idea why this is such a thing with you? Have you done this with other people you wanted to date? How come? What makes me different? Honestly? But... I don't think I am, though. Does anyone else say I'm intimidating? Well, and so what if I am? We've been friends a long time, or at least acquaintances. We've hung out a lot, played a lot of games. I might scare the new people a bit, but you should have been past that. Yes, you should have just said something, damn it. What's the worst I could do, turn you down? Might have been awkward, but this is so much more awkward. Yeah, well, I'm torn. I don't know what to feel right this second. Because you're pretty freaking amazing most of the time, which is probably why I don't mind losing to you at stuff, even though I'm so competitive. I actually like you. I guess I just don't get where you're coming from, or why you're so threatened by me when I win. Oh, are we throwing a pity party? Because I can bring the potato salad. <sighs> Come on, I hate that. Please don't say that. Because it's silly. I can't do better than you. You're a great person. And I feel genuine chemistry with you. There's so much more to you than the games we play. Of course I do. And there's also the fact that being the best gamer in the group doesn't make you somehow worthy of me. You're not earning me like a prize here, you know. I'm a little insulted if you think otherwise. Okay, fine, I believe you. But damn, this is so... <sighs> hey, the right person for me is whoever the right person is, regardless of things like game skills. I'm not looking for a perfect partner who can do everything better than I can. That would be insufferable, frankly. Perfection is boring. Yes, it is. I just want someone I can have fun with, chill out with, win some, lose some with. You know, an actual human being, just like me. Flawed in a lot of ways, but good at some stuff too. Don't put me on a pedestal. I certainly don't. I am definitely not pedestal worthy. I'm just me, ordinary. Okay, maybe a tad more than ordinary, but just a tad. I... Thank you, I appreciate that. I'm sorry if I ever made you feel like you couldn't talk to me about what you were feeling. And I'm sorry I didn't tell you sooner how I felt. To be fair, I didn't want to rock the boat. We've done pretty well so far, just beating each other up with high scores. But now that the cat is out of the bag... Yeah. But first we have a score to settle. Come on, let's do this. Who goes first? No, you threw down the gauntlet. We're doing this. You and me. And in the end, we're going for pizza, no matter who wins. 
Oh, yes, we're going to have a good time and get to know each other a little better. And if something comes of that, well, all that's left is to fight over which of us is player one. <laughs> we'll see. But I think you've already found me to be a formidable opponent. <laughs> Come on, sweetness, start the song. Let's get this done so other people can play. Oh, my perspective hasn't changed. Even knowing you like me, I'm still the same person. Exactly. Right now, I'm craving pizza. But first, I really need to kick your ass. Hey guys, I want to give a special thank you to my Olympian patron, Scott Vaginoy, for inspiring the script and workshopping it with me. If you'd like to share script ideas or hang out with me on Discord or just support me in what I do, please feel free to check out patreon.com slash urban nymph. Thank you for listening. I'll talk to you soon.